Do I think I'm live? Let me just double check. All right, I am live and audible. Let's go. I am ready to go today. I can't believe this is my last stream before my vacation. My last Skyrim stream, sorry. I am going to be streaming all the way till Sunday, but this is the last Thursday. This is the last Skyrim stream till then. But I got those reading recordings done, and I'm pretty excited about them. Thought they turned out really well. And I have them uploaded to my playlist, so I appreciate those redeems. I'm not actually going to have redeems available for this stream, because I want to make sure that I have enough time to do a good job on them. And since I'm going to be leaving on Monday, I might not have enough time to get everything done that I want to get done. So I don't want to leave people hanging if they're, they're redeeming for readings. But they'll resume in August, like everything else. I really appreciate you being here. I'm just getting pepped up on this song. I had a pretty good day. I woke up earlier than I wanted to, but it is what it is. Yeah, had a pretty good day so far. Yeah, I did a bit of reading. Took my daughter to the park. I had a nice meal already, so... And I've got a little snack waiting for me for when I'm done, which is nice. So hopefully the uh, food I had will fuel me just in case I end up in overtime. I feel like I've been doing a lot of overtime this week. It's been really fun sort of putting the pedal to the metal, you know, before my holiday. Yeah, very close now. I know. I've revised my countdown because I've got one of those countdown clocks. And it used to just have the days, but now I have it where it shows like days, hours, minutes like that. So <laughs> it's like feeling really close now. <laughs> yeah, it's like, whoa. And I'm thinking about all the things that I still need to get done. And I'm like, hmm, I've been kind of procrastinating on a lot of it, but oh well. As like a growing up being a chronic procrastinator, I know that in my heart of hearts, everything that needs to get done will get done in time. Even if I save it for the very last minute. But yeah, just some laundry and packing and stuff like that. I mean, I'm a light traveler, so it's not like I have to worry about a whole bunch of stuff. It's not like I'm like trying to decide whether, what's the joke? If I'm going on vacation, do I pack two French horns or three? Like, <laughs> no, I'm a really light traveler. Yeah, I'm like a one backpack kind of person. I am really ready to go. Really ready to go. I can't believe we're doing the Thieves Guild stuff. My gosh, like Brynjolf is really annoying. But here I am, I'm gonna go look for him in his little underground lair or whatever, the rat way. Yeah. Pepped up, ready to go. Super ready to go. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this. Press any button and load. I suppose I could continue, but I don't want to accidentally continue from the wrong save. Not this one. There we go. Who's talking? Bro, you're with me. You're with me. Someone sees me. Oh, you're up there. I think Rifton's kind of cool. Gems, potions, exotic ingredients. Oh, that guy. He wanted me to search for his thing, too. Whoops. He had, um... Locate a clue about Branchay's past. That's right. Oh, I have this stuff too. I should probably do this. Hello, Lady Madesi, my friend. How have things been since last week's incident? I'm curious. Ever since you scared off that thug from the Thieves Guild, not one of them's bothered me. We're lucky. To oh, Madesi. It's my pleasure. If you see the Thieves Guild harassing anyone else, you be sure and let me know. Yeah, and me too. 
I'll probably be the most incompetent thief the Thieves Guild ever tried to recruit. On purpose. I'm gonna go turn in these things, because I did bring... I went to um, Winterhold to look for some more of those books. And so I recreated a save and I dropped off some of the books that I had and I had all of the things that these guys were asking for. Gems, potions, My food exotic ingredients. Um, this guy wanted a piece of gold. So I grabbed that stuff while I was here so I wouldn't forget. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? If anything pleases the eye, don't hesitate to make me an offer. I have a chunk of gold ore for you. Perfect. Melting this down will give me plenty of gold for those necklaces I started. Let's go. Did you need anything else? No, I think I have enough here to get started. Here, let me give you this. It's the least I can do for all your trouble. Hmm. Gold, diamond, necklace added. Safe travels, Landstrider. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Now, there's somebody else. There's a... Um, I know that the alchemist student needed something, too. Balamint. He wanted fire salts. That's right. Yo, dude. I just happen to have all this stuff what around. What brings you to Balamint today? Repair? Purchase? I found the fire salts for your forge. Amazing. These must have been very hard to come by. I don't remember coming You've by saved them. saved my business and warmed an old smith's heart. For that, I thank you. There we go. Thanks for the money. Return any time. You're quite welcome here. Yeah, awesome. Saved your forge. Let's go. And then... Oh, I keep doing that. That's not where it is. This one, the Nightshade Deathbell of Nernroot. And return to Maurice. I've got those Ice Wraith teeth for her. Where'd she go? Welcome back. Good to see you again. Ours is to smile at your passing, friend. Yeah. If you're ever in the market, I'll no. deal in specialty goods for Morrowind at one of the stands. Where'd she go? Come see me in the no, market. No, no, no. I should just probably have that on, right? There we go. Finest custom jewelry in all of Skyrim. Yes. Yes. Yes what? Not down there. Oh, where did she go? Is she in here? Let's have a look. Oh, maybe this is where What's-Her-Face is. Not you. You. Any luck gathering those ingredients? Yep. Hmm? Uh, sorry. Just thinking about my experiments. I have Nightshade for you. Perfect. This is just what I needed. Here's some gold for your time. Thank you. I have death bell for you. Good. My experiments are at a critical stage, and these are just what I need to finish. Here's some coin for all the trouble. Let's go. And I have nern root for you. Ah, yes. Excellent samples. Thank you. This coin should compensate you for all the bother. Hey, Spot. Well, hello there. Thank you so much for the sub. Oh my goodness. I appreciate that a lot. Welcome. Hey, Floorboard. That was the last of the ingredients. Yes. Master Elgrim will be pleased I've restored his stock of these rare ingredients. I feel I owe you a bit more than some meaningless coin for all your diligence. Here. This key unlocks my supply chest at Elgrim's Elixir. Supply chest? Feel free to take what you need from time to time. I'll be refilling it once every few days or so. Well, that's handy. All right. Don't forget to check your supply chest from time to time. Right. Let's get out of here. Let's go see if I can find Maurice. Give her those ice wraith teeth. Oh, she's probably... That's where her house is, right? It seems kind of late. Maybe I should hang around a little. Go down here. Yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Thanks so much for being here, hanging out. I, um... I collected those quests, and since I was looking for, I was dropping off some books at my base anyway, I picked up those ingredients which I just had lying around, so I thought, eh, why not? Might as well drop these off I here. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? I got stuff for you. you need something? I found the ice wraith teeth. Perfect, just perfect. These should help keep my stock fresh for quite a while. 
And as promised, here's my trade. Hope you like it. Ooh, mage light and pheasant pressed. Thank you. Thanks again for the ice wraith tea. You're welcome. We're out of here. All right, let's go. I think that's everybody. Um, right, and those ones are bugged. Okay. All right, let's go find the ragged flag and I totally wasn't procrastinating on that. Actually, I was. Yeah. You thought the remake of Resident Evil 4 was better than the original, but you might get killed for saying that. <laughs> I've never played the original or the remake. All right, the rat way. Let's go. Well, this is creepy. It's ominous with a skull and an axe just sitting there. Hanging moss. Wow, there's lots of noises and stuff. I don't know, Droff. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Why are you always acting like such a big baby? Hmm. I've gotten us this far. This far? We're living in a sewer. You said we'd have a house as big as the Blackbriars by now. You worry about bashing people's heads in. I'll worry about the guild, okay? Okay, okay. I'm going to check the entrance to the Ratway. It's Be so right dead. back. They don't like me. <laughs> Bro. Where's Bro? I'm getting out of here. I want to see where Bro is. Bro should have been getting those guys. Bro? Where is Bro? Bro was here. There's a few diehard fans. Where is Bro? Did Bro get stuck in what's her face's house? I didn't even check. Oh, her fa her what's her face's house was over here. Well, let's just wait a few hours. This is, I don't want Bro to leave me. Bro. What are you doing? Azura's wisdom to you. I need to trade some things Whatever with you. you I don't know. I just want to like get him to like pay attention to what I'm doing again. Okay, you're still following me. Let's go. I don't know why he's stuck in her house. That's really weird. There we go. Come on, bro. We're going here. These guys want to beat me up for some reason. And I need you to beat them up in exchange. Thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate that a lot. Alright, he's here. Huh? Ha! Found you! Someone there? Yeah. I've had enough of you. Come on, let's go over here. I need Bro to get this hammer out. <laughs> guys should have left me alone. Who else is here? I love how I'm like not even sneaking. Stand still. 
Stand still, who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Yeah, where are you? I don't know where this guy is. I can, apparently. You won't live to see tomorrow. Where are you, low life? All right, I guess I hop down. I can't really. I'll raise a cup to your brain. Okay, Jan the Fist. All right. There they are. Really? Come on, bro. Get her. Get that hammer out. Or you don't need to. Jan the Fest. <laughs> Unarmed strikes do 10 additional damage. I'm taking those. Seems cool. All right, well, those guys beat me up a little, or tried to. All right, this is the door that is trapped. Don't push into me, bro. Hmm? Nothing. Just, just. I hope the game's not buggy today. Whoa. I hear morning doves is really neat. I'm kind of curious about that, but I want to see what's this way first. Unlock door expert. Let's go. Oh, that wasn't it. That was the wrong way, probably. It's like still bright outside. It's really weird. Is that the way? No, it's this way. Focus. It's not it. Second time I've done that. I used to be a little better at this, I feel. Maybe it's just not a lock picking day. Oh geez, I chickened out. Almost. Almost. A got him. Oh, we can go up that way. I'm actually quite curious. Well, I want to know what the other way is. Our right, answer is to go in there. Good to know. Beggar. Yoink. Search skeever. Take that. You. No. No. Okay, so that that's the direct out exit now. Okay. Let's go this way. Was the other way a shortcut? Oh my. What is this gruesome scene? There's a skull in here. I'm going to be annoyed. No. Yikes. That's kind of yucky. Let's go here. Is this a trap? I want to find what's his face's axe. Is that is that it? No, he was missing his bow. It was Draven's bow. He's like, go find this bow for me. Got stolen. They dragged it down here. I should look for it. Actually, I should probably like put that quest on. Oh, it is on. Draven's bow. Okay, good. Unless it's just another bugged quest, which. I feel like there's a lot of those.
It is so dark. Oh my gosh. It's very creepy in here. Alchemy lab. Something cooking there. Oh, that's so creepy. Can't not. I have to. I have to, guys. I can't not. It's so satisfying. Gloves. Boots. And an axe. Well, they did a pretty good job of making this place kind of gross. Like, you're like, ew, wouldn't want to live down here. Oh, jeez, bro, sniffing right in my... startling me. Dang it, get out of the way. Move. Alright, it came from that way, so I'm gonna have a look this way. But I feel like... I was here already. Yeah. All right. Now, was there one path I didn't go down? I kind of want to explore everything. I did go that way. This was the place with that axe and the stump. And there were two paths. That one and this one. Oh, this isn't a path after all. It's just. Ew, I don't even want to know. Hanging moss. Alright, I'm satisfied. Let's go find this guy. I'm totally procrastinating. I find this Brynjolf character very unpleasant. The Ragged Flagon. Let's go. Steal from... I'm just gonna walk in. Yeah. I'm just gonna walk in. Stealing from Barrel. These guys. Ragged flagon. Give it up, Brynjol. Those days are over. I'm telling you, this one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. Mm -hmm. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Call what? Who, me? Delvin Mallory. You clever's brother. Well, well. Color me impressed, lass. I wasn't certain I'd ever see... Well, well. What? Whoa, whoa. Color me impressed, This guy. Lass. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Um, I don't know why I bothered. This place is a mess. If you were expecting a palace... Then maybe you're not cut out for this line of work. Our methods involve secrecy and discretion. Now, if you're done belly aching like a child, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? How about you do it yourself? Deadbeats? What they do? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Sounds good. Who are they? Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. How did you want me to handle it? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. 
What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. Really? A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Um. Will I get a cut? Of course you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. I'm not now, one of yours. if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. Really? I don't really want to bother with these guys. Any tips about Kirava? Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Hmm. What's Helga's story? Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. I see. Any help with Bercy? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Oh, that seems really, really, really rude. No. I'll be here when you're done. What a thug guy. This guy's a bully. I think Brynjolf could give you all the information you need. Oh yeah, Delvin? What if I read this timely offer? Delvin, I have a full score of glass arrows coming in. If you want a piece, I'll sell them to you for my cost. I need to keep the merchandise moving or else that bitch might catch on to our operation. If you want them, they'll be stashed under the docks in the usual place. I'll check back with you in a week. Told Wene. Told Dene? Told Hmm? I don't know. A warning. Mm. Delvin. Master of sneaking, huh? If I ever catch you trying to sneak a peek at me while I'm bathing in the lake again, I'll cut off your most valuable asset. Vex. <laughs> You're being creepy. I think Brynjolf could give you all the information you need. I think Brynjolf yeah, could don't... give you all the information. Where's my... Stop talking, dude. I've had this in my inventory since forever. This, right? Read? Delvin, that's what I thought. Here's the formula for the improved bone mold I mentioned in my last letter. Take whatever gold you make from the sale and make sure our little sister's taken care of. Ingredients, four cups of bone dust, one cup void salts, one bottle of Netch jelly, one cup ground stalrum chips, one bucket of fresh water. Add the bone and void salts to the water and allow them to soak for at least a full day. Then add the netch jelly and stalrum chips to the bucket. Stir over a hot flame until the mixture begins to harden. Pour the mixture into the desired mold and set the mold in the center of your forge. Fire the mixture in the forge for at least a half day. Let the mixture cool and then remove from the mold. Clever Mallory. Yeah, I don't know. I'm busy. Don't you have something to do? I'm not here to hold your hand. Figure this one out for yourself. God, they're so unpleasant. Why do they need Stay me? Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. Okay, dirge. Last person who made trouble for Veckel ended up with a smashed head. Oh, really? Why did they call you dirge? They call me dirge because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Okay. Why? You think it's funny or something? I think something? it's lame. You guys are lame. I think it's hilarious. You got a problem? Yeah, my problem is I'm too tired to punch your face in. Oh, big talk. No way. That name would scare anyone. Oh, yeah? I think so, too. You're pretty smart. Hey, here. Have one on the house. Oh, uh, Mead. Remind me. Why did they call you Dirge? I already told you. <laughs> they call me Dirge because I'm Sky. the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Right. All right then. All right then. You need advice? Talk to Brynjolf. I got better things to do. Who's talking to me? For us yet. No, I haven't even left yet, dude. These guys. You need advice? No, Feckle. You'd better have coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts. I literally just got a handout, dude. Can you share anything about the thieves' guild? I don't know you, so we've got nothing to talk about. How about you finish the job Brynjolf gave you? Then we can talk. Really? What have you got for sale? Take a look. Okay. Yeah, I don't want this. Sell. 
And you can, yeah, right, sell. Mm -hmm. That's what I think about your gift, dude. Who are you? If you're looking for conversation, the flagon isn't the place. Oh, really? Beckel and me, we have a thing going. Try anything with him and it'd be bad for your health. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yikes. Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. Galathel. You must be the face sculptor I've heard about. Yes. I once practiced my art in the salons and manners of Tamriel's great and good. Now the scum of Skyrim are my only clients. Oh. But no matter, the greatest artists are never recognized in their own time. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? Um... Are you sure you know what you're doing? I have not always been a ragged beggar. I learned my art from the masters of the art of flesh sculpture. Who? I studied with the faculty of chirurgeons and cloud rest. I walked with the hollow-faced men of Notohogra for three years. I count the nobility of both the Empire and the Dominion among my clients. Mm -hmm. And yet, I have fallen so low that I must justify myself to a wanderer in the sewers of this backwater of the world. Why are you here? I understand you know how to change someone's appearance. Change it. <laughs> I can remake your face, if that's what you desire. I do not practice my art for free, however. I doubt you can afford my services. You have the smell of the vagabond about you. I see. I'll have to think about it. Indeed. It is no small thing to submit yourself to the flesh sculptor's knife. Yeah, see ya. Mm -hmm. Well, that one's done. You are pleasant. Everybody here is just so pleasant. Yeah, not pleasant. Not pleasant. Also, no not pleasant. Here. Yep. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna. Be yeah, trouble. yeah, yeah. You are just something else. Let's get out of here. The Ratway vaults. Let's go look for this bow. Is that it? Is that guy got it? No, well, he's not got, like, a thing on him. Bro's gonna take care of you, so don't try attacking, alright? Let's go this way. Alright, tripwire. Wow. Be someone there. Yep. I'm here. Oh no, who's this? A Nord. Pink, the gold necklace. Sleeping on this bed. I'm gonna get these skeevers, bro, don't worry. See, we're good. There's another one, I think. See, they're not even like eating the bread and stuff. You'd think they would. Seems so wrong in a way, so vicious. Okay, you didn't play the original. Had a good fun with the, the remake, that's awesome. Holy. I know, bro. That's how I feel too. Just. This is not clearing his throat. That always startles me when he does that. He's also like thankfully not complaining about being outside or inside or anywhere. Oh, can go down there. Look at this guy. Is someone there? Look at him, he's got elven arrows. Mm. 
I'll take care of him. Thanks, bro. Elven Bracers of Eminent Lockpicking. Yeah, I'll take that. Might be helpful. Iron ingots? Sure. Search this chest. Hey, just forget about that guy. We'll find him a van eventually, I'm sure. See, I kind of leave these vagrants alone, but I also feel like they're gonna try to beat me up. Get him, bro. Get these low lives and vagrants. That's right. Get him. Oh, bro. <laughs> Vicious. <laughs> it's, yeah. I love it. I love it. That's why I keep, that's why I keep him with me, guys. It's pretty good. Apparently I can hide from you. Oh, it's in here. Almost. Not a lock picking day, guys. Not a lock picking day. It's yet to be seen if it's an archery day instead. Oh man. There we go. Draven's bow. Got him. We'll return it to him shortly. But you want to explore this. Take their money. Yes, yes. These little chests, they're so cute. Must have given me lots of things to practice on. Get lots of lock picking done. Nah, don't need that. Alright, we got the bow. I guess we should go return it to him. Maybe think about harassing these poor people. Maybe I can do it super incompetently. The Thieves Guild are like really annoying. Hey, this guy. Detected. This guy bugged or something? You can't hide from me. Got knocked down. Come on, bro. Uh, I was gonna say use your hammer, but the fire thing worked. I get to use your elven arrows. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, that's where it came from. So let's go this way. See what's about. It's so dark though. All right, that wasn't a hole I could have fallen down. Was this though? Some oil or something. And what's this? The Bratway Warrens. Let's have a look. This is interesting. Well, I'm not going to throw away the opportunity, right? I practice this. There we go. I'll go through there in a sec. I just want to have a look around this area first. Knife, yes. Book, yes. Bucket, yes. Ink pot, no. 
No ink pot. Yo, friend. We're cool, right? Salvianus. It's hopeless. He told me. He's right, you know. <laughs> no, never find me. All right. That's the one I opened. Let's go in here. Oops, that's not it. I could do it a little bit better than that. No, this way. No. Hefid the deaf. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, sorry. Mercy. Whoa, 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 bro. I'll catch you. Help. Yo, lay down. Dude, just leave her alone. What's he got against her? Come on. Bro, let's get out of here. I'm gonna eat well tonight, my <laughs> darling. <laughs> oh, dude. Calm down. Yeah, get this guy. That's right, Azura curse you. What's your problem, dude? People are weird in here. Somebody help! Somebody help? Yeah. Horse meat. He already had some horse meat and everything. Why has he got to like munch on meat? That doesn't make any sense at all. Salvianas, don't worry. Now it goes down. There's nothing over there. What's this? I'm very dangerous. Don't make me come out there and hurt you. Okay. I'm not opening this door, so you might as well leave me alone. Esburn. If my friends find out you've been bothering me, you'd be very sorry. I kind of bother this guy more. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Fine, Esburn. It is all clear now. We're all good. We're friends. Knife. Yes. Book. Don't. Yes. Bucket. Yes. Enough. Whoa, bro. What have you got against her? He is like ready to dismantle her. Spare me, please. Help. Sorry. Bro had a problem with you. Yikes. She had her inkwell. Are you satisfied, bro? Wow. Wow. Vicious today. Absolutely vicious. She was like, mercy. He's like, no, nah, I don't think so. All right, whatever. Forget all these guys. Let's get out of here. Let me go find Draven and give his bow back. This place is a maze. Dang, this guy trying to protect himself. I just bust in. It's like beating up the already beaten up. It's like so wrong. Okay. He'd be like, I'm the you king of the castle. You You're the dirty rascal. 
All right, let's go do his dirty work. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna go bully and intimidate people because this guy said so. This guy of all guys. No, not this way. The other, oh, whoa, whoa, sorry, bro. We're going this way. That's right. These guys had a huge problem with me. Whatever. It's fine. Eh. Let's go riften. Let's go harass people. All right, well, I'm not going to do all those things. Buying and selling fine jewelry here. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. Maybe as toothless as possible. Hey, welcome, Velocity. Beat Skyrim 19 times. Let's go. All right. So, can I interest you in anything today? I have a message from Brynjolf. Ugh, Brynjolf's the worst. Sorry, Percy, honey hand. What? Oh, it's one of you people. Yep. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself. I know, anymore, right, eh? guy? This guy's. What's this message? Brynjolf's the worst. Um, I think you know what it is. You're gouging me for what little coin I make. And you can't <laughs> even protect yourselves. Ridiculous. <laughs> if I need any help, let me know. Oh, thanks. Really kind of you. This is actually my third time playing Skyrim. I played it in 2012. I played it in 2016 and now I'm playing it again. Although I forget a lot of it, so it's still like <laughs> we can protect ourselves, trust me. Oh my god. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time. I know, I can't believe I'm delivering this message for Brynjolf. Brynjolf is the worst. I've had enough of this. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do. So I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Tell Brynjolf he'll just have to make do without my coin. I can do that. I really don't want to take coin from that guy. Brynjolf's the worst, so... It's all good. Alright, who else do I need to harass? Unfairly. Kirava, right? She's in here. Talk to you first, Talon you J. Want? How did you meet Kirava? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. Aww. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless. Oh, that's so cute. I could find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Can you tell me about the wedding ring? Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the hist. The entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. Interesting. You mentioned you served special drinks. Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. Mm. First is the Velvet Lechance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Suspicious. Second, we have the white gold tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Sounds pretty good. Last and only for the bravest of souls, we have the cliff racer, which is firebrand wine, cyrodelic brandy, flynn, and sujama. All right. Um, you might want to talk some sense into Kirava. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. 
Then help me convince her to pay? Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Oh, this is Please so sketchy. Anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. I guess that's the point though, right? Tell me about the Thieves' Guild. They're vermin. Garbage. They're exactly what makes this city such a horrible place to live. Mm -hmm. How appropriate they should live in the rat way with the rest of the trash. Yep. What's the rat way? Disgusting. Ruined sewers filled with goodness knows what. There's an entrance down by the canal, but I'd highly advise you to stay out of there. It's the Thieves' Guild's territory. Hmm, I feel like that's the wrong order I should have had that conversation in. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Well, I've got one of the flawless sure amethysts. Lies with the Empire. We haven't much to discuss. I don't have any allegiance with anybody. All right, Kirava. Like a drink. What do you say to some cheap mead? Here for a room or something to drink? Romlin, Show me some breath. First. I'm selling the best mead in town for cheap. Interested? What are you selling? <laughs> Let me just said that. This is the one, the Thieves Guild one. Nothing but the best. Black Briar Mead, fresh from the vat. Well then. Best of all, you don't have to pay the ridiculous prices Maven charges. You stealing it? What do you Stop say what to you that? doing, Romlin Dreth? No thanks. Suit yourself. If you change your mind, I'll be around. Um, story wise, I have escaped Helgen. That's it. Need something. All right, Kirava. You want something or not? Are you ready to pay with Brynjolf? Are you ready to pay Brynjolf what you owe? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. All right. Oh, man. Maybe I should visit that farm in Morrowind. This is so sketchy. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Of course I won't. Man, I need more options here than pay up, and I'll forget about it. This is so Very sketchy. Well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. All right. Really? A hundred? I could have paid that for her. Jeez. Yes. Nothing. Romleth, Dreth, nothing, nothing, nothing. We're out of here. What level am I? Oh, gosh, I have Wait, no idea. Whoa, whoa, anything. whoa. Everybody's so really talking all at once. <gasps> It's beautiful. Is this sunrise or sunset? I think it's sunset. Yeah, sunset. Um. Yeah, level 38. I really don't want to smash his stuff. I don't want to brawl with him. You know what? I'm just going to leave it. Let's go talk to what's her face. Trees. Beautiful. Remind me of Autumn at home. I trust you're not planning any trouble. Please help me. I'm going to lose my job at the Whoa. Lipton Fisher. Wichita, what's wrong? I really need your help. I don't want to lose my job at the fishery. What am I going to do? You might lose your job. It seems like a setup. My job at the Rifton Fishery is in danger. The owner, Bolly, said that if I show up for work in this condition one more time, then I'm out. Uh-oh. Have you got a problem? I don't mean to do this to myself, but I can't help it. I tried some skooma a year ago, and ever since then, I can't stop. Uh-oh. If you could give me a healing potion, I could cleanse this poison from my body. I don't know if I have one. My life. I'll get one for you. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, I don't have one. What is skooma? I'm not sure what it's made from. But I can tell you that once you've had a taste, you'll never crave anything else. <laughs> the Dunmer came up with the stuff a long time ago. Very illegal and very hard to come by. My, my. I got mine off a merchant ship in solitude. Worst mistake I ever made. Dang. Do you like working at the fish Rift and Fishery? Bully is a good man. He pays us well and watches out for us. I used to work at the Black Briar Meadery, but in Darren and I never saw eye to eye. That elf has no patience at all. Hmm. It's probably for the best anyway. I'm far better at fishing than working in a meadery. Fair enough. All right, I'll get you that health potion. Any healing potion will do. Please I have, hurry. I have cure disease potion. Did you take that? Did you bring anything? No. The pain. Helga. If you're looking for a room, try the B and Barb. 
This place is for the working man. What is this place? To get married in Skyrim and get a house to help your skills? Ah, oh, yeah, I'm not too worried about my skills. <laughs> I am like a bit of a wanderer. It's me and bro taking over the world here. What is this place? This heap of matchsticks is what everyone calls Helga's bunkhouse. Can you stay here? No. Okay. The bunkhouse is for the working man. Not some sort of luxury inn for tourists. Got it. I have a message from Brynjolf. What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. This isn't about the money anymore. Look, I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please, be reasonable. I'll... I'll pay next month. We've run out of patience. Hey, look who's talking. Thanks so much for the raid. How'd your stream go? I saw you were trialsing. I may have been lurking. But welcome. Hey, Gherkin, welcome. We've run out of patience. And so have I. What's the point of paying anyway? Your outfit can't even fend for itself. I could do better tossing the gold into the sewer. It's you true. You can't scare me with your tough talk. I'm not paying you people a single coin. Fair enough. That's fine. Hey, Crip, thanks so much for the resub. And thanks for doing that shout out for Lakutakan. Hey Biff, it's very early morning for you, so sleep time. Oh my gosh, yeah, I imagine. It's probably almost, what, 3 a.m.? That's crazy. Thank you so much for the raid, and I hope you have a fantastic rest. I don't want to beat her up. Steal. No. That's so wrong. Ask all you want. You can't squeeze blood from a steel. Yeah, no, you guys are fine. I'm not gonna smash your thing. It's so silly. It's so silly. <gasps> Where is it? Oh. There it is. Oh my god. It looks so good. It's too late for the other one, though. That looks nice. All right, let's go give Draven his, his bow. I don't want to go harass those people. We'll go this way. All right, I think he was at one of these farms around here. Yeah, yeah, just down there. Oh, it looks amazing. Oh my gosh, guys. So good. Yeah, it's me and my bro. Since, well, pretty much since day one. Me and bro Rollis. Looking for adventure in Skyrim. In Solstheim. Ignoring the main story. Not being the Dragonborn. Not reporting dragon attacks to Jarl of Whiterun. That's what I've been doing. But yeah, I've been playing this every week, every Thursday. It started on Tuesdays, but after a few weeks it... Uh... Oh, this way. It moved to Thursdays, so I've been playing it weekly since then. But yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And welcome. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's almost 10 o'clock already. What have I been doing for the last hour except for trying to ignore Brynjolf and his silly demands? Alright. Draven, I found your bow. Let's go. Oh, he's just hanging out. Look at this. Hey, friend. Talk. So, has my bow turned up yet? I found your bow. That's it. You found it. I don't know how you got it back, and I don't want to know. Frankly, I don't even care. I'm just so glad to see it again. Here, this is all I can afford to give you as compensation. Hope it's enough. Dragons, thieves, and war. I should have oh. stayed in Morrowind. I got another of the flawless amethyst. 
What are they getting all upset about? They're like, started a battle of some sort. And I'm like, I don't know what I was doing. Was I doing something? Azura's wisdom to you, friend. Thanks. Everything okay? Heard about you and your Helgen, destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? Hard to believe. Thanks again for getting my bow back from those thieves. Next time they come knocking, I'll be ready. All right, then. I guess we go back, talk to Brynjolf. See if he can let me get away with only getting money out of one of them. I really don't want to steal the things and, like, smash the things. Looks so mean. They don't do their own dirty work. It's fine. I said I was going to do this, so I'm going to do it. And I just want this quest out of my quest log, so I'm going to do it that way because of that. Alright. Look at them. They're like not letting them stay in the city. It's so rude. Alright, let's go back. I really don't want to smash their stuff. What happened? What happened? Dang. What do you want, cat? Oh, what's this? Thief. But no one's gonna loot the thief? Come on, guys. Yeah, get him. I think I have to, don't I? I don't have a healing potion. I should go find one. Alright. I'm not gonna steal their stuff. If they wanna fist fight me, then we can just fist fight. That's fine. They'll beat her up. Let's go. I don't know why they're like trying to beat me up though. You know what I could do? So I could put those gloves on I found. This one. Yeah. Let's go. Rip them off that guy's corpse, you know. Can I help you? Can I help you? We're gonna chat. Ask all you want. You can't squeeze blood from a stone. Not in this part of the world, anyway. Ask all you want. All right. You can't squeeze blood from a stone. Not in this part of the world, anyway. Well, I guess not. I can't fight her anymore. I have to steal her stupid thing. <sighs> well, that's annoying. I just wanted to beat her up or something. Although, that's fine. This is fine. It's fine. Talk. Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. So, should I drop the statue down a well? Oh my gosh. Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't This is her. so mean. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. Can I give her back her? There you go. Yeah, fine. We got her thing. Super wrong. Oh my god. Brynjolf, you're the worst. Sending me out to do your dirty work. Only because you know. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then you took my the care of me. My will be the death of me. Oh, he spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. I feel like I need this guard There's to clear out. In town, yeah. but it's down on the lower walkway, so stay sharp. If oh no. Down. You're the one from Brynjolf's outfit, aren't you? I have a message from Brynjolf. Try oh, this again. There's no need for that. I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look. Oh, uh, this guy changed his mind. Road. This town sucks. Yeah, it here, does. It. All right. Well, I didn't have to do anything weird to this guy. He's just like, oh. I guess I collect them in the right order. Then they don't worry about it so much. All right, let's go. Yeah, this town sucks. Even though the town icon looks like boobies. 
getting out of here. Why? What's going on? Come here. Nope, not my problem. Get the thief. Nope, we're out of here. Bro, are you with me? Leave these guys alone to their thieves. Their thieves suck. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, this town does suck. This looks really cool. Like, I love the aesthetic of it, but dang. But that's true about um, Markarth, too. I think that town sucks as well with all the weirdos, the really creepy guards, like, bent over and fondling dead bodies. Looks so weird. Good news. I found that dwarven hammer you were looking for. You did? Thanks. I'll get you the rest of your coin by tomorrow. Yeah, funny about that. The price was a hundred higher than I expected. Veckel, you have no shame. I'll get you the rest like I said. I want that hammer. Mm -hmm. Markarth, the one where you Job witnessed a murder fun. first thing? The package to her just exactly. Like you Good. Did she say anything we need to know? Yep. She said that the Jarl was planning a surprise raid on us, but she talked her out of it. Said she saved us a lot of trouble. That she did. Very good. I'll tell Brynjolf. The Brynjolf's literally right here, dude. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Here's what they well, owed us. And it would seem I owe us something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite that useful. Just got lucky is all. Bumped into someone who knew someone else. All right. What's next then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Really? If there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. I'm rich. I don't need your gold. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a I'm no thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. See how little I can steal. Before we go, I have to ask. Dot. 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 What's on your mind? Word is your outfit isn't doing well. True? Question mark. We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Um, man, I wish they gave you more options. Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me, and I'll show you what we're all about. Oh, really? So, taking you're care of business. Protégé, eh? Don't look like much to me. Oh. It's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use them. Can you share anything about the thieves guild? I don't know about the others, but I sure am glad to see a fresh face down here. Really? The wagon used to be packed every night. There's like a the face sculptor right over there. But now Last few years have been pretty bad. I've almost closed this place up. Anything you'd have done around here? Now that you mention it, there is. Oh? I have a buyer with, uh, shall we say, a very odd taste oh. in literature. Oh, I'm intrigued. Looking for some particular books. Le what kind of books are they? It took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm told they're the ravings of a madman, a wizard named Arendil and his peculiar cravings. Oh. It's said to be spread across four volumes and very hard to come by. <laughs> My client is offering quite a reward for them, which I'd uh, split. I'd be happy to retrieve those books for you. <laughs> I'm not into books. <laughs> really? That's when they're just like, okay, yeah, I'm going to give you more than one option to say something. And the other option is just, yeah, inappropriate. I'll get them for you. Then we have a deal. In his later years, Arundel moved into some ice caves known as Ingvild. He preferred the solitude in which to perform his um, experiments. All right then. How can you be certain the journals exist? Recently, a woman was found naked and shivering along the road to Dawnstar. The only information the guard could get from her were tales of strange experiments and Arundel scribbling in his journals. 
Do you know anything about Arundel? Only rumors. He used to have a home in Dawnstar until they burned it down. The people say he was doing unspeakable experiments on reanimation. Rituals only a necromancer would perform. After he made for Ingvild, he was never heard from again. Interesting. Yeah, I'll go get those books. All right, then. Yeah, I think you, you got better it. listen to Mercer and Brynjol first. We could talk later. Who said... Where are you, even? You're just talking to me. I think you better listen to yeah, Mercer. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was th th thinking about that. Talk later. Yo. After you talk to Brynjolf and Mercer, come back and see me. Really? Okay, guys. So you're Brynjolf yeah, yeah, we're going. Protege, eh? I'm following you, Brynjolf. Oh, my like gosh. It's my last... It's dream before my vacation. I'm sitting here following Brynjolf of all people. Oh, what's this? Stealing. It's like nowhere in the game is everything more marked as stealing than in this place. Well, we going in. Or are we just standing in front of the door? Do we knock or what? <laughs> we just <laughs> materialize, dematerialize, and then materialize on the other side of this door. All right, dude, lead the way. How do we push him into. Go. Wow, this guy. This guy. I gotta know what's in here. Yeah, I'm right here, dude. Let's go. This place looks pretty cool. Not quite as disgusting as the rest of it. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before this continue, voice again. I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. Hmm. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. I'm not sure. Rules for thieves. What's the point of rules? I'm not a thief. I'm not sure. If you're not sure, maybe you don't belong here. I'll ask again. Are we clear on all of this? Oh, I was going to say I'm not sure again. <laughs> yes, I understand. Good. And I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. If so, let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Oh. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Jeez. Welcome to the family, lass. Go, I'm expecting you to make us a lot of koi. So don't disappoint me. Okay. So how do I get my cut of the spoils? I really don't care. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place. And they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Alright then. Oh. And talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. I don't... Never mind. Tell me about the Golden Glow job. Sigh. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. Wretched? It's owned Bees by are some awesome. smart wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. 
That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. All right, what's so important about these clients? The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. What should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. Well, is that the client? The has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. I need more details about Golden Glow. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Palgy Jam. And out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries, not Riften guards. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. All right. How do I destroy the beehives without destroying the bees? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Why not level the entire estate? Wait, what? I'll give you one good reason. What? Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. Maven Blackbriar is the influential client. Yeah, he said so already, though. I don't know, the dialogue on this one's really weird. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. So, how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. Okay. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. I don't know, I've met enough of those mercenaries. Listen to money. Come here a second. Let's talk for a moment. All right, Sapphire. Look, if I was a little harsh before, I just want you to know it's because you were new. You know what I mean? So will you tell me your real name? That's a great conversation opener. Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. This is a <laughs> business. Something had to make you this angry. That's right. Perfect mission for the oh, new you recruit. Know about yep. Me? All right. I'll tell you. I'll tell you about the time I was a young girl, barely out of her teens, living on a pig farm in the middle of nowhere. Didn't have a coin to spend between our entire family. Ate the same slop we fed our livestock. Sounds horrible. Oh, wait. It gets much better. How about the fact that our farm was attacked by bandits and that they killed my entire family who didn't even brandish a weapon against them? Here's the best part. They took me as a prize and violated me for a fortnight. Tossed me from bandit to bandit like... like... You don't have to continue. It's fine. I had to tell someone, I suppose. Carrying around a weight like that, it hurts after a while. Cuts you inside like a dagger to the heart. How did you escape? Over time, I managed to gain their confidence. Then one night, I grabbed a knife, waited until they fell asleep, and cut their throats. I never returned to that pig farm, you know. There's nothing for me there. So that's my sad story. What do you think? That sucks. <laughs> oh my god. What is with this dialogue? It's terrible. You still never told me your real name. Maybe one day. Wow. 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 I hope we bump into each other again. Really? Wow, because I was not understanding at all. You're telling me your story there. Want to talk? Dude. Go ahead. My god. Vipir the Fleet. Hey, let's talk a second. Sure. So how did you earn your name? It was on a job a few years back. It was supposed to be a simple burglary on a house in Windhelm. I was working with Vex, and we got inside with no trouble. We found the loot and made our way out. 
sounds normal to me. What is the commentary here? <laughs> well, it was. Up until the point where we set foot outside. The house was surrounded by town guard. The client had ratted us out. Vex just tells me to run. So I did. Half of them went after me. The other half went after her. Did either of you get caught? Oh, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Huh, are you kidding me? Vex lost them in seconds. Once she steps into the shadows, she vanishes. Me? I ran. And I ran. Straight through the gates of Windhelm. And all the way back to Riften. Yeah, that's a long run. Oh yeah, there we go. That's an incredible distance to run, finally. <laughs> Vex was waiting for me at the flagon when I came in. Drenched in sweat. Everyone just took a look at me and laughed. Why were they laughing? Well, I had forgotten we had our horses tied up just outside of Windhelm. Vex rode hers back and arrived hours before I did. So, that's how I earned the name. Now keep it to yourself. I feel like everybody here knows that story though, so who would I even tell? The Beer of the Fleet. Dang. Know anything about Golden Glow Estate? I wouldn't bother smacking at those hives <laughs> with a weapon. What a name. Set them on fire. And they'll go up like kindling. <laughs> That's funny. Does the guild provide other services? I'll point you to the first and last person you're ever going to need to talk to. Tonelia. She's the guild's fence. Treat her right, and she'll make you rich. Try and rip her off. You'll have the whole guild to answer to. All right, then. Yeah, well, welcome. Thanks for coming to hang out. Need any more pickpocket training? Any more? Just let me know. I didn't even ask for any. Guild chest. Yeah. No. I could just take this. Actually. Ebony bow of animus. I'm going to take this one, too. Yeah, I stream on Thursdays, although I will be taking a month off. So I will be resuming my streaming in August. Thief of Virtue. Doink. But yeah, I play weekly and I've been really enjoying it. Blackbriar Reserve. Dang. Well, you guys don't need this stuff. All right, Sapphire. I'm Back sorry I was job, huh? rude Hope to you. Riften. No, we don't want to go there. Cupboard. What's in here? Well, hey What's this then. note? What can Sapphire do for you? Oh, geez. Read. No word yet. Rune. I've used every source at my disposal, and I still can't find a trace of your parents. Whoever they are, they've completely erased themselves from history. This is quite a feat, considering the quality of my sources. If I come up with anything else, I'll be certain to contact you. Ethel Newberry. Yank. All right, I don't know who Rune is, but maybe I'll run into them. Back from a job, huh? No, leave me alone. I haven't even left the room yet. Goodness gracious. Yoink. Take some money. Guild chest. Um. Yeah, seems useful. They're just letting me take everything in this area. That's kind of cool. What's in here? Juniper berries. Yes, please. Shadow marks. By Delvin Mallory. Dang, that guy. I don't know if I have that book. Read eyes open. Keep your eyes on Sapphire. There's more to her than meets the eye. Just a random note just sitting there. That's so weird. Nightingale's fact or fiction. I feel like I have that one already. I'm interested in this book quest though. Hmm. Let's keep looking around. Who are you? Interest you in some marksman training. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Really? Me. I've literally done nothing. Just wanted to let you know. Thanks. How did you end up at the guild? I used to live in Valenwood, working at my father's winery. We made the finest wine to ever cross your lips. I promise you. We were doing well. It's not coin, made from plants, mansion, is it? And I was even betrothed to a lovely young woman. 
Why would you leave all that behind? I don't know. He says he's from Valenwood and he's running winery. I feel like that doesn't add up. Why would you leave all that behind? Because it was dull. Every day was the same boring routine. Working at the winery, social visits with friends, parties with no one I cared about. I just wanted a little excitement. Something dangerous. Like being a thief. I hooked up with a guild in Valenwood. I think they called themselves the Silver Crescents. Spent quite a few years doing jobs for them. Made a lot of coin, but I didn't care. I didn't really need it. I was running with them because it fit. Made me feel alive. I was going to say, well, why are you in Skyrim then? How did you end up in Skyrim? Well, after a while, my father caught on to what I was doing. He confronted me one night and gave me a choice. Either leave Valenwood, or he'd have me thrown into jail. Gave me a day to say my goodbyes to everyone. That must have been difficult. I ended up in Skyrim thanks to a contact I'd made when I was with the Crescents. Good old Delvin. He introduced me to Gallus, and that was it. I've been here ever since. And you know what? Despite what I left behind, I don't regret it one bit. Well, it does seem like adventure. Know anything about Golden Glow Estate? The honey they collect on that hunk of rock goes into making Blackbriar mead. Just about the best tasting mead in all of Skyrim. Does the guild provide other services? If talking your way out of trouble isn't enough, you could always pick up some training from Delvin, Vex, or Vipper. Also, I recommend hitting the training room if you need lockpick practice. Helped me out of a jam more than once. A training room? Come find me if you need more marksman training. More? Talk? Go ahead. Oh, is she following me? Look at these. What is this? Business ledger. East Empire connection. Mercer. I've pressed our contact at the East Empire Company for information, but that lizard's as stubborn as he is careless. He claims the company has nothing to offer, but I think he's hiding something. I'd suggest that you refrain from having him visited by the Brotherhood for now. He may yet be of some use to us. Yoink. Sorry, I stole your letter. Be important. I'm quite busy. Really? You're just standing there? Know anything about Golden Glow Estate? Didn't I talk to him about this already? I'd like to know why you're wasting time asking about it when you should already be on. Yeah, watch how fast I go, Mercer Frey. A word of advice: don't disappoint me. Now it makes me want to disappoint him even more. Just saying. These guys are mostly unpleasant. What's in here? What's this? take another one of these and take all their shadow marks even though I don't need more than one right who are you Thrin hey hey I want to talk to you now I'm the one who woke you up so you were part of a bandit clan what's with these openers I joined up with them maybe 10 years ago small clan maybe 20 men we'd raid villages rob caravans but it was always about the killing for them but not for you. Don't get me wrong. The first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. What changed? We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek. You ordered us to kill the rest. You'd never had to do that before? No. We usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. And Garthek? I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Ooh, I wonder if I could find never it. never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. Always a pleasure. Always. I totally woke you up for that. What's here? Some money. You want to talk to me? No, okay. I don't. We, we just chatted. Like, literally just. Empty. What's in here? Tomatoes? I don't want tomatoes. Uh, 
Oh, this must be the training room? Oh, bro. I was just looking in these barrels. I want to see what's in here. Nothing. Nothing. Apples. Tomatoes. That one's empty. Empty. Potatoes. Advances in lockpicking. Yoink. I feel like I have that one already. It's okay. They're leaving books all over the place. What's this? Thieves Guild Hood. Thieves Guild Gloves. Well, I'm gonna look at these. Alright, search cupboard. These guild boots. Twink. Seems appropriate if I steal all this stuff beforehand, right? I mean, it's not marked as stealing, but... You guys know what I mean. Yes, please. Look at this. Barrel. Cabbages. Take your soul. Unlock chest, novice. Nope. This way? Click. Not worth it. Oh, look at this. This is the lock picking test area, I guess. Whoopsie, that not one. Let's go. Here? Almost. Focus. Let's go. Worth it. Master. I don't know if I should attempt a master lock. No, this way. Oh, that was so close. So close. Click. Got him. Alright, I'm gonna do this one. I might not do the master one. Not that I've got like 10 trillion of these, but... Am I still wearing those gloves? Probably. Yeah, what am I even wearing? Pickpocket. Lock picking. Prices. Yeah, I don't really need that stuff. Alright, let's try it. Let's see if I can do it. Because why not, right? Hmm. All right, it's in this area. Good to know. Careful, careful, that's not it. Gently focus. That's not it. It's more the other way. We'll see if I can line it up like I had it. No, not it. I think it's probably a little more to the center. Yeah. That's close. Try it. Focus. Focus. Don't choke. That was really close. There. Hmm. 
I do have a lot of these lockpicks. So close. Oh, look at that. It was so close, guys. Click. Got him. Oh, vigorous healing. Let's get that for what's her face. All right. Well, that was fun. Let's go have a look around some more. I looked at that already. And I talked to you, didn't I? And this guy, Sinric Andel. Wanted to say something to you. Is that so good thing I came over to chat then? How did you become so good at picking locks? Pull up a chair, my friend. This is quite a tale. Do tell. When I started out in this business, I wasn't really interested in the guild or being a thief. That's like me, with skills like yours. Why not? I didn't mean to imply I was earning an honest living either. With my lock-picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreaking. I made a great deal of gold doing it, too. Jailbreaking? What's that, really? <laughs> it's where I feel a like client pays you to get pretty arrested. Pretty self-evident. You get thrown into a prison for the express purpose of breaking out. Usually it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to... Well, to kill someone on their behalf. Either way, the trick was in the escape. That's where my strengths came in handy. Why did you stop doing it? Well, as a jailbreaker, you work alone. No guild to back you up. I do jobs for the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood, but if things didn't go as planned, I was on my own. I think I see what you're getting at. The last jailbreak I attempted failed. I was imprisoned in High Rock for three years before they let me go. Wait. After that... I Were promised you already myself in I'd never do it again. Why did you join the guild and not the Brotherhood? I don't know. I think I realized that out in the world, my skills would bring me more wealth as a thief rather than an assassin. Interesting. Killing someone in a jail is much easier than what the Dark Brotherhood deals with. I guess I wanted to play it safe. I already knew Delvin. I asked if I could join up, and that was that. All right, then. Some other time, perhaps. I don't know. I feel like I took a lot of your time. Yoink, yoink, yoink. I don't want any of that. I don't want any of that. I am having fun just wandering around and looting this stuff, though. Thieves Guild Boots. I already took some of those. What you're reading? Shadow Marks again? I'm going to take everybody's copy of this. Fall from Glory again? There are certainly some tales that are very popular here. Alright, I took those gloves. You. Empty. Okay, I probably already looted this stuff. Hmm? Hmm? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing's going on. I think I talked to all you guys. Hmm. Hmm. Sapphire. Yeah, yeah. I talked to everybody here. Got a minute? Prune. Wanted to say something. You're Prune. I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can talk to me. How did you get your unusual name? My father told me he found me as a young boy in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange runes. Do you know what they mean? No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Maybe you aren't meant to know. Wow. Not even going to offer to help? Perhaps. 
They could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. So, who gave you the name? Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. I'll keep an eye out for anything. I appreciate that. Okay. Be seeing you. Be seeing you. Something. No, you sneaking up on me, guy. The heck. Unlock door requires key. Well, I didn't want to go in there anyway. Need something? Nope, nope. Guy, you can leave me alone, please. Thank you. Let's go find out where what those other people are. Is this the ragged flagon? Let's go talk to Delvin and Vex, I guess. Um All eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. Talk. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. Oh. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, then why'd they give me the wrong. job you bumbled up? Two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions. I don't know. Excuses. She seems like she talks big, but before we begin, I want to make two things. Yeah, yeah. We, you just said this to me. One, I'm the best infiltrator. I don't know. Rat hole of a she failed that job. They're just so like, yo, newcomer. Anybody's better than Vex. Well. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What sort of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So? What can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Alright. Um... I heard you ran into trouble at Golden Glow. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit is a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. And you failed. Any tips to get me in there? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. How will doing extra jobs help the guild? Are you kidding me? Ever since the guild's luck turned sour, we haven't had a coin to our name. And when the coin dried up, that's when people started to leave. We had the best of everything down here. The Ratway was a damn palace. Well, that's not what Brynjolf said. The only way said. this place will ever return to its glory days is if we can finish these extra jobs and start the gold flowing again. What were the glory days like? The Flagon was once a city beneath the city. We had our own smith, our own alchemist, you name it. If we can make a name for ourselves in Skyrim once again, I can almost promise you those merchants would return. Best of all, we'd have enough gold to throw around so we could start living in the lap of luxury again. Does the guild provide other services? If you're ever in need of some quick coin for items you find on the job, Tanelia is the best fence around. And besides myself, Delvin, Niruin, and Vipper can help you with any sort of training you might need to sharpen your skills. All right. Is this unusual gem worth anything? Been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Is it worth anything? Not like that it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. How many of these are there? I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. You sure you won't buy it? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, 
If you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. I have a bunch of these. Seven out of 24, okay. I heard you're offering extra work. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up close and personal jobs. Um, tell me about the burglary jobs. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? No. On second thought, oh, uh, maybe I'll pass. Fine. I'll just keep all this coin for myself then. What coin? Tell me the other ones. So, feeling got plenty. Take your pick. All right. Tell me about the shill jobs. When a client needs us to eliminate another, we don't operate like the Dark Brotherhood. We find alternate means to get them out of the way. We send you to plant some phony evidence in the Mark's house and then tip off the town guard. The rest takes care of itself. Sound like you can handle it? Mm, no, maybe some other time. Hey, you approached me. You want to play coward? That's whoa, whoa! Problem. I just want to find more information about these jobs, Vex. Gosh, Got chill, more than you chill. Can Tell me about the sweep jobs. One of the quickest ways to make some coin in Skyrim is to clear out some of the wealthier homes of their valuables. If you're interested, I could point out a good place that could use a little house cleaning. What do you say? No, no, no. I think I'll pass on Look, it. Look, if you just want to sit around the flagon all day getting whoa, drunk, no, that's whoa, your business. Whoa, 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 Vex. Quit wasting my time. Chill out. Ready for some work? Good. We could use the coin. All right. Tell me about the heist jobs. Every now and again, we like to remind the shopkeepers that we're in charge. If that means breaking into their strong boxes and stealing something valuable from them, then so be it. Feel like doing a bit of shopping? The guild way? Mm, yeah, sounds easy enough. Fine. Here's everything you need to know. The heist job. Retrieve Back the garnet the from news, War I Maidens trust? in White Run. I'm not gonna go there right now. What you got? So you're the new recruit, huh? Yes. Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. Why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again, for a small fee. Is there anything you don't charge for? What? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Okay. Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Got it. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. What do you got for sale? Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Oh. Oh, got a bunch of stuff then. Um, does the guild provide other services? Well, you could always speak to Delvin or Vex if you're looking for extra work. Or if you're looking for training, we've got plenty of it down here. Delvin, Vex, Nerowin, and Vipper can give you a leg up on that. What do you give me for these? I give special rates to members of the Thieves Guild. Show me what you've got. Hmm, what have you got? Lockpicks. Potions. Apparel. Weapons. I don't really have anything I want to sell. Um... I guess. So. Mm. Yeah, I don't really need any of this stuff, huh? Five. I don't want to sell all those. I might take the rest of her money though, why not? <laughs> yep. Got her. I don't really use those. Now, if you'll excuse, excuse me. 
back with good news, I trust? Yeah, no Vex. Keep your shirt on, God. So, it's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a Alright, where did this guy go? It's another to actually you, use them. Delvin. Bring your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thicker things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Yeah, pretty much. I suppose I could use some advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're going to get along nicely. All right. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? Question mark. Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. What's happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm going to give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. Oh my. A curse. What can we do about it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All right, then. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. All right, then. Um, How will doing extra jobs help the guild? Years ago, the guild used to have a foothold in every major city in Skyrim. You wouldn't dare even lift an apple without checking with us. When things started going downhill around here, it became difficult to keep it all together. We lost fences, influential contacts, and coin. It wasn't long before we lost what we depend on to survive. Respect. By doing hmm. these extra jobs and putting some fear into the people, we can take back the cities and start being taken seriously once again. Take a city back? What's that mean? Thanks to Maven Blackbriar, we still have some pull in Riften, but get arrested in Whiterun and you'll be tossed right into the prisons. If we gain the confidence of someone very influential who lives there by doing a unique job for them, we'll be able to have some leverage there too. The only way we get that special job is by doing smaller ones in those oh, cities. Oh, this is a grind, isn't it? Ear. Then they'll contact me and we're off. All right. Does the guild provide other services? If you're looking to get some Do coin the for the fruits hey, of your Lance. labor, you should talk to Tanelia. She sounds Thanks tough. for coming to hang out. She'll catch you a fair deal. Take one. I also suggest you spend some time in the training room. Just talk to Mipper. He'll show you around. Know anything about Golden Glow Estate? Watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are in Goth Hire to train killers. Just ask our poor little Vex. I heard you're offering extra work. I had all the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If breakings are more your thing, go talk to Vex. Tell me about the numbers jobs. Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Oh, these ones are the easy ones. Your job will be to change the numbers in those books so the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. Feel like doing a bit of writing? Yep, I'll do it. Now that's what I like to hear. Off you go. He said it. He said the name of the game. Good day. All eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint so, us. What could I do for you today? Nothing. I guess I can't learn about. That's why I was doing it that so, way. So you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Okay, guys, everybody. Don't look like much to me. All right, what did I get here? I got a bunch of stuff to do. Do that one. And then that one. I'm not going to do that one right now. All right. Oh, yeah, I was going to give her a healing potion. I got to go there anyway. Talon J. I need another flawless amethyst. All right. Not the Ratway vaults. I feel like I don't want to go here. No. No. Come on. No, 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 bro. Let's go. Let's go in here. Huh? 
Don't forget to follow me through the door, bro. He didn't. He didn't. He's stuck. Are you with me? Okay, he's with me. It's weird. He gets caught into like a dialogue or something and he's like, I'm not coming with you anymore. Alright, I think there's an exit this way. Oh, I had to sneeze. Oh my goodness. This is uh, quite a violent one. Alright, this one leads up into Riften. Let's go. Before it's a Friday tonight, then back into Diablo to see how far ahead Chappie's gotten. Oh, is he playing a lot? No. Oh, activate pull chain. There we go. Thieves Guild discovered. Yoink. Yoink. Come on, Egan Blackbar, why don't you just come here? You could have, like, taken all the flowers off these gravestones. I feel like this graveyard is bigger than the one in Falkreath. <laughs> Even though they're like, oh yes, ours is the biggest one in Skyrim. Alright. Let's see if what's his face. Look at this guy. No one's lo looting him. Nothing to see here. Hey, Grelka. Have you got what I want? You gonna buy something? Yeah, what or have you got for sale? What you see here. Just cut her off. She's, she's so grumpy. No, she doesn't have one. Come back when you're ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madesi, have you got one? What ah, have you got for sale? What you see here. You show me. Have you got some goodies? A lockpick. No. See so, ya. Yeah. Safe travels, Landstrider. This guy's probably like super mad at me. He's like, don't talk to me. I just want to see if they've got any of the. Welcome to the pond, Braun. Come on in, take a look around. Thanks. Can I talk to you? Welcome what have you got for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Oh, you jumped way ahead in power when you took two days off. Oh, okay. Did you guys end up playing last night? Books. A dream of Sovngarde. Hag Ravens. I think. It's... I don't need that one. Miscellaneous, that's what I wanted. I was looking for a flawless amethyst. I. I. Oh, those are the ones he had for sale. Yeah, Alright, let's get out of here. I guess I'll go fudge those numbers. Oh, you were hanging out with Scarlet last night and tonight. Oh, nice. Alright, I guess we go fudge these numbers. You lost? You lost? No. Don't mind me. Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. Done. Yeah, those ones are easy. Do the more of those, please. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um Wait, what else was I doing? Oh, give Fujita a healing potion. Well, where is she? I don't know where she went. I have a healing potion. Is she not in here? Or is this going to be another bugged quest? Yet again. Beggar's Row. No, this one. Hey, Chef, welcome. How's it going? You got the ingredients chest. Where is it? Not you. It's a fine day with you around. It's a fine day with you around. Thank you. This one. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. Thanks. I was hoping they'd be like ingredients, but she wants to make me potions. That's great. That's great. I have that potion for Wujita. Where is she? 
I don't know where Bali is. She works at the fishery. Prices and the highest quality in Skyrim. Oh, it's you. Come to extort more from me? Trying to. We'll see where she is. Oh my god. It's Chef. Buying and selling fine jewelry here. Honor Hall Orphanage. Dang. All right. Well, why don't I, since I'm still here, why don't I just give this mission back to him? Looking to stay alive. And um, then I can grab another one. Those number ones are pretty good. Now I remember it being like a massive grind to restore the thieves' guild to its former glory because you've got to like do those special jobs for everybody. And you have to like get so many in different areas. So you get to the point where you're just like, nah, I need to give up. I want to give up. You don't want to like end up doing all these jobs in so, other areas. What could I shall be troubling ya? Oh listen. I've completed the numbers job. Couldn't have done it better myself. Here's your coin. Thanks. I'm ready for some extra Good. work. My clients are getting impatient. How come you're not doing any of this? Do you have any numbers jobs? These marks keep their ledgers all neat and tidy, but they're right for some change, if you know what I mean. Take it. I'll do it. Finally. Someone with backbone. Here you go. Thank you. All right, let's get out of here. Oh man, they're sending me around in Riften. This is pretty good. Let's just go do this one and come back too. I was like literally just there as well. That's good. Wait, this way. Yes. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for coming to hang out. I appreciate that. I actually probably won't be on for too much longer. But I do want to get it set up because I will be not in the game for like over a month, so want to make sure I don't forget what I'm doing. I'm not like in the middle of something that I'm going to not want to leave the thread of, if that makes any sense. I know she said it, right? She said it. Let's go in here. They don't mind me. My experiments continue to go well, thanks to guys you. sleeping. How can I return the favor? Just don't tell on me. Yep. Don't worry. Have you managed to make it out? No, I didn't go to Shorestone yet. Sorry, lady. Sorry, lady. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. All right, let's go turn this one in too, since we're still in Riften. I feel like this one's gonna take a really long time Let's to get through all this nonsense. Why take a chance? And then it's like the the queue just ends up being filled with all these like failed missions because just like oh, I don't want to do this one, I don't want to do this one, I don't want to do this one. Give me one in the area that I want. Hey, good morning. Chappy, good to see ya. Hope you had a nice rest. You're feeling good? All right, Delvin, where are you? Shall be troubling ya. I'll listen. All right. Oh, you're back. I've completed the numbers job. And here's the spoils. <laughs> Bloody more where this came Let's from. Let's go. Got him. All right, I'm ready for some extra work. Good. My clients are getting impatient. Oh, thanks for the hug. Do you have any numbers jobs? This business is a regular target for the guild. I keep pretty shoddy records, so the job should be a cinch. You in? I'll do it. 
Finally. Shabba Just tell me guy. where to go. Just tell Here me where to go. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much. Windhelm Stables. And Windhelm. Where's the other one? I think I was going to Windhelm as well. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, I guess. All right. Let's get out of here. I kind of don't like these guys, but whatever. I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna get everything done. You're going to bed, so thanks for your stream. Enjoy your overtime. Thank you. Thanks for being here, Lurkin. Rapids, I appreciate that. I hope you have a fantastic rest. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit tired, but wait. No, no. I want to give Wujita her healing potion. That's what I want to do. Though I also... Where's the thing? Where's the other one? The one with the books? Oh, Ingvild Barrow, that's the one. There's like the books quest. Prioritize that for sure. Yeah, I don't know where Brigida is. I love how there's just like these random thieves just just all over the place. Oh, it's you. Come to extort more from me? Yep, you got it. New around Riften? Take my advice. Yep, bye. Bye. Oh my gosh. I just want to... Okay, I don't know where she is, but you know what? I'm going to assume she comes back at night, so I'm just going to wait around. We'll just wait around for a couple hours, right? That makes sense. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Hey, where are you? Where is she? I heard her talk. There she is. Sorry about the mess. Keeping this Did you bring anything? I have a potion okay. for you. Thank you. I'd almost given up hope. Here, take this. It's all I can offer for what you've given me. A gold emerald ring. Trees. They're beautiful here. Reminds me of autumn at home. A fall forest makes me miss my childhood. Hmm. Playing among the towering trees in Valenwood, living with my brethren. Hey, don't look at me that way. Ooh, a So what if I have a problem? The bunkhouse isn't I know how to deal with it. I'd recommend the Bee and Barb. Svana, mm -hmm. do you work here? Are you a skooma dealer? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Dang. Ever since my parents You have to lurk and get back in bed? Me. No worries. It's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? I hope woman? the rest is really good for so you. So now I'm stuck living here while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. Yikes. Why do you hate Helga so much? It's not just the work. It's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Oh? Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? What's wrong with what that? What kind of woman would do such a thing? It's her thing. Just she likes once, that. She likes I'd that. Like to see her squirm. God. To rub her nose in it. Different values. There must be a way. Actually, there is. But I don't think I could get away with doing it. She'd kill me if she found out. You see, I happen to know, after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection, called a Mark of Debella. If you confront her with three of the marks, she'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. Well, maybe she wouldn't be embarrassed. Sure, I'll help you. Oh, this is going to be great! Spawn a far shield. You need to get the marks of Debella from Boli, and Indarin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. All right. Let's do it. Try and get those marks without violence, please. I don't want to be responsible oh for God. their deaths. Or yours. It is our most favorite company. Mm-hmm. If you're ever in the market, I'll deal with you. Tomorrow Grelka, I see you. Tithus Ulan. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough. I'm green. I'm off work at the Blackbriar Meadery. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back there in the morning. Yep. Yes. No worries. 
So mean. Just because Helga likes to, you know, doesn't make any sense why you should harass her for that. Just a little bit pompous, if you ask me. She's going to be so embarrassed. I hope she isn't. I hope she's like, so what? Get over yourself. Alright, the stealing. I don't want to steal that. Although I'm curious as to what other books might be around here. Also, I don't want to leave. It's behind the door. Another room? I'm not going to take anything. I just want to poke around. Oh, it's empty. I even saw that. All right, just, just having a look around. That's all it is. You live a lalu. I feel like I'm gonna take your money. The Alduin Akatosh dichotomy. I'm gonna take that too. Hey, oh my goodness. Betty B, thank you so much for the raid. Let's go. How was your stream? Hi! Thank you so much for the shout out. Hey, J Mark, welcome. It was fantastic. Oh, that's good news. Yeah, thanks for coming to hang out. Oh, and I'm, I've, um, I will be playing Dr. Mario on Sunday. I've got it all set up, I've added it to the schedule and everything. So, yeah, I will be doing that. I will be getting back to it. It'll be my last stream before my vacation. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Hey, you got a new PB. Let's go. That's awesome. What was the um, what was the parameters of the of the PB that you were going for? That's really exciting, though. What's down here? Oh dang, there's a lot of stuff down here. Steal from? I'm not stealing anything. Huh? Now your rabbit's gonna go bad. Suckers and your chicken. Got him. Eh, I want to see what's in here. Now take the basket. I want to see what's in there. Sorry about your meat. Oh, that's nothing. No, no. A zero to 20th from 18th to 15th. Oh my goodness. Let's go. That's awesome. I keep thinking about it. I'm like, I'm not sure I'd be able to speed run. I get so distracted so easily that I don't think I could focus for that long to do like a zero to 20. <laughs> I feel like I get so hung up on like little things that just waste time. So I don't, I feel like I'm not very efficient. All right. Um, speaking of not being very efficient until next time. Sweet Helga. Last night was the most wonderful night of my life. The things you showed me, the things we did. I could never have dreamt that it was possible. Who even knew that someone could manipulate their body in that manner while wearing Daedric armor boots? You are a true master of the Dibelin arts, my love, a credit to your religion. Perhaps we'll meet again soon, but next time, allow me to bring the trout. Your secret lover. Wow. Yoink. Brown chicken, brown cow. All right. Anything else I can loot? Iron dagger under the counter. That's awesome. All right, let's go back to Riften. <laughs> All right, what was I even doing? This is how distracted I am. I'm always distracted. Okay, I identify Riften skooma dealer. I'm not going to worry about that. Get these marks of Dibella from Boli, Hofgrier, and Indarin. You know what? I think I'm going to worry about that later. I'm really curious about this Ingvild Barrow, to be honest. I just want to know where it is. If it's far. Oh, it's pretty far. That's really far. You know what? I might do some more cleanup stuff in this. Whoops. In this here. Get those ones instead for now. Yeah. And then, yeah, because then, like, I want to make sure I'm not starting something before. Oh, 
Who's here? Getting steamy in here. Yeah, I know. That was that was ex unexpected. Yo. Any luck getting the marks from those men? Well, I'm working on it. I'm beginning to think leaving Mornhold was a mistake. All right, Ujita. I'm feeling much better now, thanks to you. Where do you get your skooma? Look, I don't think I should say. I mean, they could kill me. Um. <laughs> and who says I won't? <laughs> Here, does this help? As I think you owe me one. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think you. she owes me one. I get my skooma from Sarthas Idrin. He has oh. some sort of a setup over the Riften warehouse. You can't get inside, though. They've kept that place locked up tight since the war began. Well, maybe I could have... Who has a key to the warehouse? I overheard Boli say that only the Jarl carries the key to the warehouse. Oh, do you think the Jarl's and in I on it? Sarthas there. He's usually waiting for me outside with his bodyguard. Oh. What will you do now? If it wasn't for Skuma, I'd already be on my way out of this horrible city. Oh, don't shove. Who's shoving me? All my gold. Completely gone. Now I have to start over. I'll never use Skuma again. Although I suppose a little mead now and then would be harmless. I feel like it wouldn't be harmless, but... You've been kind. I thank Whoa. you. Whoa. Svana, sorry for the mess. Sorry for sneaking up on you and sweeping right behind your back and shoving you out of the way while you were trying to talk to Ujita. My god. My god. Oh, it's you. Come to extort more from No, I'm going to unethically humiliate you because the person that you've hired has a problem with how hard she has to work. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do instead, of course. The bee and barb. All right, you. What's up? Did you get that purchase agreement to Markarth? I didn't. Sorry, Bolly. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. All right, Helga gave you a mark of Debella. I want it. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'd never sleep with anyone besides my good wife, Drifa. Okay. Um, hand it over, and no one has to know. Look, it was one night, okay? I think she slipped something in my drink. I, I haven't even been back to the bunkhouse since. Mm -hmm. Just take this damn thing. I never want to see it again. Sure. Remember to give at the temple. Yeah, I know. I'll do that. I'll do that, dude. All right. I feel like, yeah, everything here is like just making trouble. This town. This town, guys. My god. All right. Where else can I go and harass people? I guess we go and talk to the Jarl. Get that warehouse key. Makes sense. Or just tell on tell on the dude. Be like, yo, there's a guy selling skuma. Making people forget how to work. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll? Who said that? As Yar Leila's house guard, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance. Oh, I'm going to ignore exactly what you said. I'm going to go and find her right now. Yo. Welcome to Riften, traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. I've discovered a skooma dealer in Riften. Yes, I'm afraid we're aware of Sarthus's presence in the warehouse. And? Unfortunately, we're certain he has informants within the city guard. Every time we've made a move to arrest him, he's escaped. So you want me to do it? However... If you take care of this discreetly, you might be able to surprise him without warning. Oh, sure. I'll do it. Excellent. Here, this is the key to the warehouse. Thank you. See if you can drop in on this dealer of poison and convince him to close down his operation permanently. <laughs> wow, I am just a thug here. This is everything that I have to do around here is just a thug's job. Of crossed daggers. The history of Riften. I'm gonna take this. Right in front of that guard. Best offense is a good defense. Who was life. harassing me about sweet rolls? Lightly armor means light on your feet. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Now you're complimenting me. What is it? Nothing. Pirate King of the Absian. Yoink. Yoink. Well, this is interesting. Oh, you. Wylandria. I remember you. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go take... take... Oh my god, yes. The 
this song so much. Where's the moon? Is it up? Oh, look at that. Oh my god, it's so awesome. Setting. See that, bro? You're looking the wrong way. Look at me. Staying safe, I hope? Yep. Staying safe. Still wanted to know who was harassing me about that sweet roll. I'd have shown them a sweet roll. It's a reverse pickpocket it into their pocket and be like, yo, I think you actually stole my sweet roll. What's out there? Why do I need to go to do that? I guess I need to wait here. Oh my gosh! Hop! Holy moly! Thanks so much for the raid! How's it going? I was lurking your stream. You were playing Final Fantasy 16, right? How's it going with that game? I was trying to sort of like be cautious about my <coughs> absorption of that, just in case of spoilers and stuff. But yeah, I am in overtime. I'm in mega overtime already. It's 15 minutes. But you came in right at my favorite song. And I think I'm going to wait around because I need to solve some of these missions involving being a thug here. Game is so good. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad to hear it. <gasps> the moon's right there. The other one. Secunda. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's... Okay, I'm just walking into birch trees or something. Oh, I can't see it. It's too bright. Buying and selling. Yeah, I know, I know. The moon was over here. I just wanted to see it. Please. Please Edda. A septum. I know, I gave a you a septum a couple times. So yo, yo, you're the guy. Let's talk to him. I'm you're the just... Brewmaster around here. What did you want? Oh, in Darren. I'm quite busy. Need something? Or can I Just get over back seven hours and not working tomorrow. So you're playing all day again. Is the hope? Let's go. Oh, Helga gave you a mark of Debella. I want it. You're crazy. How dare you make such an accusation? Oh. Hand it over, and no one has to know. If word gets around that I betted her, they'll lose all respect for me at the meadery. Oh. Take the mark if you want it. It's not worth all this hassle anyway. All right. Tell me about Maven Blackbriar. Lady Maven could buy or sell anyone in Skyrim. I wouldn't be surprised if she's the one pulling the strings around this city. She's always welcome in Miss Vale Keep, and between you and me, I'm pretty sure she even has some pretty influential friends within the Empire. I'd also warn you not to cross her. She employs quite a few troubleshooters to take care of messy problems. Oh. She's right there. You want to keep talking about her? You run the Blackbriar Meadery? Maven Blackbriar wants me to keep Here we the go. flowing. <laughs> She's standing right there. Do, despite <laughs> all these lazy good for nothings that work for us. She's like, I know you're ever talking about I me. Took over as a foreman, <laughs> the production of our mead has never been more profitable. <laughs> Where'd she and go? If the meadery is profitable, <laughs> I'll get rich. Get the picture? I get the picture. Good. Now maybe I can get back to work. <gasps> To be read immediately. Notice to all employees. It's come to my attention that the last batch of Briar, Black Briar Private Reserve was simply our standard Black Briar mead placed in the incorrect bottles. We sold six cases of the Private Reserve recently and they were all returned. To make amends, we've replaced the cases with the correct supply at our cost. Due to this blunder, the cost of those cases will be removed from this month's wages. Indaran. Jeez. Harsh, dude. Harsh. All employees must read. Notice to all employees, I have discovered my bed filled with skeever droppings that were obviously placed there on purpose by an employee who felt it was an amusing prank. You have until mid us to either come forward on your own or point me in the direction of the perpetrator of this practical joke. Otherwise, all employees will be subject to half wages for the next three months. In Darren. Jeez, you slave driver. Attention employees. Notice to all employees, Lady Blackbriar has requested that all employees be subject to, 
to be subject to random searches at my discretion. There's been a rash of missing mead barrels lately and I won't tolerate it any longer. Any employee caught with merchandise belonging to Lady Blackwire will be subject to immediate incarceration in Riften Jail. If you have any objections to this posting, feel free to remove yourself from the meadery permanently. In Darren. I'm the brewmaster around here. What did you want? No, I'm just reading all your I missives. I'm not bothering you. I'm just looking for, like, more information about this place. Now, that's all. I'm just curious. If I know what's all in here. Ooh, note from Maven. In Darren, if you ever dare to create arbitrary rules on my behalf again, without informing me first, I'll have Maul personally show you what your insides look like. I trust that we're clear on this issue and I won't have to mention it again. Maven. Oof busted that guy got told off all right imagine if npcs had ears i know and they like use them to listen to like what you're talking about and stuff songs of return code of malakath song of the skeldamen i have all those ones yo sorry i'm afraid i can't help you much right now Currently in mourning. No worries, dude. Look at all this stuff. This is quite the place. I don't think I've been in here. Look at this. Skyrim. It's down here. You look like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap man? Hey, you selling? I feel like there's your guy right there. He's like, yo. I'm taking some of this. I'm selling the best meat in town for cheap. Interested? Choir's key. No, I don't need that. Let's get out of here. All right, I was going to finish up these little little things. Get these marks of Debella and stuff. Oh, this must be where... Angler acquaintances. Wait, what? To Viria. Where is Bard? Who's talking? Bard. Nothing. Bard? You talking to me? I'm not a bard. That's like such insult. Fishery. All right. The waiting. The insufferable waiting. Is it you? Valandor. Trees. Oh, you're you're there. the guy. Reminds me of autumn at home. Oh, you. Why? Why do you pursue me? The waiting, the insufferable waiting. What is it? What's wrong? Here, I want you to have this. Don't ask, just take it. Okay. Read bounty. The waiting, the insufferable Juvenile waiting. mud crab. Okay, I talked to her. Let's read this, I guess. What is this? Bounty. Juvenile mud crab. After hanging up my sword and bow to live a quieter life, I decided to, to study the lives and habitats of mud crabs here at the Rifton Fishery. It is my hope that one day we might breed mud crabs such like, much like we do fish, if only everyone else at the fishery shared my interest. I am in search of a juvenile mud crab so that I may study its growth. These young mud crabs rarely leave the water, so now I... So I now need an intrepid fisherman to catch one. They can be caught in almost all lakes and streams throughout Skyrim, though a breeding ground is said to be in Whiterun, west of Broken Fang Cave. Please make haste. I must show progress in my research as soon as possible. Viria, Riften Fishery. Note to self, it's been 12 days since an adventurer took up this bounty, and so far, nothing. How much longer must I wait? Interesting. All right, then. Not now. Not now, okay. Yikes, yikes. Gosh. I'm feeling much better now, thanks to you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yo, swims in deep water. Hmm? I'd like to improve my fishing skills. Could you teach me a few things? Of course. List of fair weather fish added. An entire list of fish to catch, but I only just learned how to fish. That doesn't change anything. Okay. Um. I'll do my best. No promises. Of course. Well, nice chatting with you. Okay. That was 
All right then. Let's open the door. What's in here? Oh, a note. Fish out of water. Viria is an odd one. She wants to fill our precious waters with mud crabs. Mud crabs? Crabs are not fish. They do not swim. They do not smile. You cannot speak to a mud crab. They cannot hold a conversation in their knobbly little pincers. They are clumsy creatures, but more importantly, they are unhappy creatures, dour and sunless, like the soil in which they sleep. Ours is to wonder if Viria is not well to suggest such a thing. That's funny. That is funny. Holds of Skyrim, Horker attacks, Line and Lure. Wait, there's four books. There's four! This is fine. Olaf and the Dragon. I have that one. Things to do. Things to do. Repair holes and nets. Sending to Markarth too expensive. Look for local solution. Valendor, perhaps. Repair wood damage on fish pens. No skill required for this. Should simply have Wujita take care of it. Adjust fishing charts for Lake Honrik. Need to keep ship clear of Golden Glow Estate. They took pot shots at our ship last time we moored within a stone's throw of their location. No idea why and answers to Erangoth have gone unanswered. Tell Nivenor to stop spending so much of our damn money. Yoink. Pirate King of the Absian. Now, let's get out of here. Bro, let's go. It is our most favorite company. It is our most favorite company. That's so nice. All right. Who are you? From you, deepest fathoms. You must take the lexicon. Free me of my burden. Okay. Lexicon? Burden? What are you talking about? Memories. I cannot stand them. You must take them away. Return them to a Vanchenzel. A Vanchenzel? You must take the lexicon from me. Please, take it now. Yeah, I can do that. It's okay. I'll take the lexicon. You must bring it to a Vanchenzel. In the West, return it to them. It must go back. I have a lexicon anyway, so maybe I'll do that as well. Who are you? Maul? Dirge told me you made it into the guild. You need dirt on anything, you talk to me. Okay, Maul. Be seeing you around. around. Alright, what is this? Do I have to go in here? What is this? Riften Warehouse. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's sneak in here and get this taken care of. Eliminate Sarthus Idrin. Is this the guy? Someone there? Die, damn you! <laughs> <laughs> Bro got him. Bro, you gonna get this guy too? Look at this guy. Get him. Too easy. Alright, recover schema source information. Alright, sorry, Orini Drawl. Sarthus Edrin. Sarthus is key. Let's take that. Sorry, not sorry. I guess we don't. We're still stealing. Iron Dagger. Look at these ruined books. So sad. Sad days. down here. Sarthus is key. Steal from. Sarthus. Just got in a shipment of moon sugar from Morrowind. We're refining it now and the skooma should be ready by the time you get to Crag's Lane Cavern. Bring the gold or don't show up at all. Kill near. All right. Report skooma source to Jarl of Riften. All right, I'm not going to steal it. Look at all this. They're making skoomas. Oh, bro. Eh. Yeah, huh? Huh? Out of the way. Out of the way.
All right. Yeah, let's get out of here. We did our job. Yeah. I'm being a thug for everybody. That's like... Now I'm just a thug. Oh, here's the door. I knew that. First try. First try. This is very epic music for this fishing area. It feels like. Alright, we were gonna go tell the Jarl, right? I love how there's just these corpses all over the place. I feel like this is... What are you doing this for? I'm just trying to get this guy out of the way. Seriously, they just leave these corpses all over. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. See ya. Some armor and live to tell about it. They're just leaving corpses everywhere. I didn't want to look at the corpses. Alright. Where is what she? Need, my friend? Nothing. Oh, there you are. Jarl. Welcome to Riften, traveler. I hope the road Sarthus well Itrin has been taken care of. It's nice to receive good news for a change. Did you recover anything else from the warehouse worth mentioning? Yes, I've discovered the source of the skooma. And there's no time to lose. It won't take long for Sarthus's associates to learn of his death. The source of the poison must be destroyed once and for all. Otherwise, another dealer will simply take his place. That would be a Do problem. Do this task for me, and you'll be well on your way to a title in Riften. Oh. I'll make sure it's done. Good. Report back to me when your task is complete. Got it. Alright. Thank you. Oh. As ya Leila's house car, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm leaving. I'm maintaining a respectable distance right now by leaving. I'm leaving. All right, I had one more of those things to collect, didn't I? Who do we need to talk to for that? Um, Hofgreer. Now, where is Hofgreer? Beautiful Buy some armor and, and live to tell about gemstones it. over here. Gems, potions, exotic ingredients, I have them all. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. No, oh, you must be out by the stables or something. Let's go find this guy. Be like, yo. What you do is not my business. Especially with Helga. I don't know why I'm going out of my way to embarrass her. Especially after extorting from her. So, yeah. This town's turning me into a big old jerk. Off Greer. Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. <laughs> this guy. Helga gave you a mark of Debella. I want it. Huh? What are you talking about? I don't even know what that is. Hand it over, and no one has to know. Look, you must have me confused with someone else. Really? Give it to me, or else. I don't want a bad reputation in Riften. But Helga's out of control. She wanted to try it in the stables, so I said yes. Mm -hmm. If you want the mark that badly, then go ahead and take it. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, those are all ones I already have. I poked around their library already. Don't need to do it again. Got horses that need shoeing, so make it quick. Yeah, I know. I just totally... I'm poking my nose into business that is absolutely not mine. If you want to do it in the stables, then go right ahead. Who am I to like get into people's business? Helga, yo. New around Riften? Take my advice. Stay at the B and Barb. The bunkhouse isn't for you. I believe these are yours. What? How? Where did you get these? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Look. We need to keep this quiet between you and me, okay? No one else needs to know about it. If word got out that I'm practicing my Debellin arts in Riften, they'll run me out of town. Hmm. Here, take this and don't mention a word of this to anyone, especially Svana. All right. 
especially Svana. We'll speak to Svana. I don't know why I bother. Yeah, I don't know either. I guess we'll go talk to Svana. So I don't want this quest to be lingering in my to-do list. All right, Svana. Any luck getting the marks from those men? I gave the marks to Helga. Oh, I know. Isn't it wonderful? I bet she squirmed like yeah, a snake sure. when you pulled them she out. Yeah, sure. She didn't seem too fussed. I think things are going to be a lot different around here from now on. And I have you to thank for it. Here. I want you to have this. It was my father's, but I'm certain you'll put it to good use. Oh. Yeah, I probably won't. Sure, leave. Not like you care anyway. Wow. Svana. Wow. Dang. <laughs> she's mean. <laughs> like, just help her with this thing and she's just like, okay. Means nothing, clearly. Alright. Craig's Lane Cavern. Ingvild Barrow. Three flawless amethysts. I feel like I kind of want to figure it. I should check to see if someone's got one of these. No. Craig's Lane Cavern. Where's this? It's over here. Alright, I've been there before. I feel like that's a good place to stop, though. Right here. So, I don't think I've got any new ones. I would like... Um, use? I already know Mage Light. Yeah, I don't really know what to do about that. Got all these little notes and stuff that I stole. That's really funny. Advances in lockpicking. Yeah, what I might do is... First of all, I'm going to save it here. And I'm going to offload my inventory off stream and then I'll come back and I'll resume the save here. I won't actually be doing... um any recordings or I don't, I don't have that redeem open today since I'm going to be going on holiday soon but at least I'll have this set up ready so that when I get back into Skyrim probably in August I imagine that'll be my next Skyrim stream um, then I'll have this to come back to so that should be really good and I have a stream tomorrow coming back playing some Diablo 3 on Saturday doing some Trials Rising and then on Sunday I'll be playing some Dr. Mario and that'll be my last stream until probably August so yeah it's gonna be weird not streaming for like over a month my goodness quit to main menu let's go thank you for the stream yeah thanks for being here guys and thanks for the raids guys oh my gosh I can't believe there's so many people showed up today I know the Kutakan said you had to go to bed right afterwards and thank you Betty B for the raid and Hop for the raid too that's really awesome you guys coming to hang out and stuff but yeah I will be back Diablo 3 tomorrow but I'll hopefully get set up and get all my inventory and stuff cleared so that when I start this up again in August, I'll have my bookshelves and stuff all done up. And um, yeah, I'm going to probably go talk to Urug Roshab and see what other kind of books he's got. Because I've been going there on the regular, seeing if he's got some for sale that I don't have yet. Because I'm trying to pump up that collection so that you guys can redeem for them. But yeah, I had a really good time playing Skyrim. And it's a little bit of overtime, almost 40 minutes of overtime actually, so... Yeah, I had a really good time. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hopefully we can hang out again soon. And um, But I'm going to set up the raid, so stick around in chat if you want to participate in that. And if you don't, that's okay too, because I'm not going to tell you what to do. But I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you guys so much. I am going to say bye for now. Bye for now. You guys are awesome.